Three years after the Petroleum Industry Act was signed into law, stakeholders from the Niger Delta have condemned the legislation describing it as a document that is anti-oil producing communities. A rice correspondent, Tunji Olanibeku, filed this report. The divestment of businesses by international oil companies, environmental pollution and land degradation, 40 clauses in the Petroleum Industry Act and large-scale poverty and neglect of the Niger Delta region are the talking points at this third Niger Delta Alternatives Convergence Forum in Abuja. Environmentalists, Niger Delta activists, traditional rulers from the region are worried that the massive divestment of businesses by the oil majors without cleaning up the environment polluted by years of oil exploration will put the future of the region in jeopardy. Speakers complain that the federal government seems to be in bed with the international oil companies at the expense of the oil producing communities. We want the whole nation to realize that time is running out. We have to, the Nagi Delta must be cleaned up, must be remediated, must be restored. The environment has been damaged for since 1956. The oil economy has meant very brutal assault on the environment. Where oil companies who've been operating since 19, the 1950s simply want to move away, is not something to treat as though it's just a, a theoretical issue to transfer funding or ownership from international oil companies to local oil companies. It's not an issue about local content, it's not. It's about who has committed crimes against our people, against the environment, against our ecosystem. We suffer everything from the livelihood that has been removed to the poverty that is left behind. It's a joint concern because, uh, as you know, you are polluting in Niger Delta today, but uh, the carbon dioxide, for instance, does not need a visa to travel from Bayelsa State to Abuja to come and pollute your grandmother as well. Part of the deliberations here also centered on the Petroleum Industry Act, which speakers say criminalizes everyone in the region as common vandals. A visibly angry chairman of the Bayelsa State Traditional Rulers Council alleges that the law was passed after some inducements. In the uh, PIA, it is said that if there is stoppage of work in my kingdom, if there is uh, oil uh, pipeline vandalism in my kingdom, okay, I and my, the people, my subjects, will be held responsible. You have passed a job that professionals, military professionals, security professionals, DSS professionals, NSC professionals, all professionals in this country put together could not do. You put it on a traditional ruler to do. It is a complete nonsense. If you don't have the time to go and read through it, you will think that something has been done. It was something that came out of huge bribes that the oil industry had to bribe every single person that was involved in passing that law. So all those who were in the National Assembly at the time who passed this law took bribes. Uh, whatever the oil companies want, the government is endorsing it. The government is not making, there's nothing critical about the issue. Even the litigation that was brought against one of the oil companies have been withdrawn from court. So because they're in partnership, in a kind of partnership that's been in place in Nigeria for too long, we have to break this kind of unholy matrimony that has been between the federal government and oil companies. We are calling to account the international oil companies that are responsible for the massive oil spillage and gas flares, some of which have been going on for up to four years and which, which is causing serious devastation in these environments. So these multinationals are actually in a position to do more environmental restoration uh, than even the people that they are, the companies that they are selling their assets to. So for us in the Niger Delta, it's not just about the money, nor is it just about uh, getting uh, local contractors to be technically competent in oil and gas operations. What happens to the environment of the Niger Delta? But what are the implications of the IOCs leaving the country without addressing the environmental issues the people are concerned about? Many here hope to raise awareness on the quest for restorative justice for the people of the region, including to ensure that the Niger Delta Environmental Assessment and Health Audit is completed on time.